Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so today I decided I wanted to do an all matte cut crease eye look. And I'm using one of my newer palettes that I just purchased over the holidays, my Urban Bible palette. So this is what the outer packaging sleeve for the palette looks like. Black with gold trimming. On the back, as you can see, it does show the shadows and the ingredients is cruelty free and it has a 12 month shelf life. So there is a mirror in this palette and as you can see, beautiful, bold, grungy shades. There's also some gorgeous bright colors to play around with in this palette as well. I love how they map out the color scheme for this palette. Very unique and very creative to me. Very, very pretty. So let's go ahead and jump into some swatches. We have Veil, Savior, and 1996. Prophecy, Aura, and Faith. Unruly, Oath, and Majesty. Myth, Freedom, and Chaos, which is a beautiful duochrome shade. Mercy, Sacred Fire, and Sacrifice, and Sin. So these are all the shadows in the palette. They swatch pretty decently. As you can see, those shimmers look absolutely gorgeous and I can't wait to try those out in a future look. So let's go ahead and jump into today's look. So as usual, I'm starting out with my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I haven't used a regular eyeshadow primer in a long time. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go back to using regular eyeshadow primer just to see if I still like it. But I'm just blending that all over my lid and I actually decided to do something I haven't done in a while which is set my lid. So I'm just using a translucent powder to set this lid in place before I get started. I'm also using tape today because I do want a nice clean line for this look. So the first shadow that I'm using is Unruly, which is a really deep, dark, burgundy matte shade. Now this shadow is nicely pigmented. I'm just using a small blending brush to place that in the crease of my lid. It's placing down nicely and blending out very well. Now since I did set my lid, I wasn't sure how the pigmentation would be, but it is blending out and showing up very nicely. And I wanted to show you guys the kick up that is in the pan for this shadow. Next, I'm going into the shade Sacred Fire. Really bold, beautiful, spicy red shade. And I'm using that to blend out the edge of the Unruly shadow. And this color is nicely pigmented also. Um, I'm really happy that these shadows are showing up because as you saw, I didn't use a white base. I very rarely use a white base actually, but when dealing with colors like this, you just kind of never know, but it really showed up nicely. I'm just going back in with some of that first shadow, making sure those two are blended together. And this is how those two shadows look. Next, I'm going into the yellow, which is Faith. And I'm just tapping in the pan back and forth adding a little bit to the edge of that red just to kind of create like a sunset gradient for my lid and i really really like how this yellow blended out that red very nicely i'm curious to see how it will be on a white base because i have a feeling that it will really pop very nicely you will get a glimpse of that when i do my cut crease so I'm going in with my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas, just marking my line and carving out pretty much a full cut crease for today's eye. I used some different brushes today than I normally use and <laughs> it was kind of frustrating because they didn't work as well as my normal brushes, but you guys know how that goes. So now I'm going back into Unruly. I wanna kinda of create the same type of gradient for the cut crease, so I'm just tapping that down on the outer corner. As you can see, 
This shade is very nicely pigmented. It shows up just as nice on the white as it does just on my set lid. Going back into the shade Sacred Fire and just blending that into the Unruly shade. Very pretty gradient that these two colors are creating. Next, I'm going into that yellow and I'm placing that yellow right next to that red. And as you can see, I'm just taking my brush and tapping it down because I wanna make sure I get the most pigment payoff for that yellow. Placing it down on my lid and then gently blending it into the other shades just to create a nice gradient for that. But the pigmentation on the yellow is very nice. So I'm going back into that red, just making sure those edges are nicely blended. When you're doing a matte lid, you kind of have to go back and forth. Now I'm going into the white, placing that on the inner portion of my cut crease. And as you can see, I have a lot of fallout, but that's my fault. <laughs> Cause I didn't tap off my brush when I placed it down on my lid the first time I was thinking, okay, I need to try and get as much pigmentation from this white as possible, but it showed up nicely pigmented after I tapped my brush as well. So it wasn't necessary for me to keep so much shadow on my brush. Now I'm just going back in with a little bit of that yellow, blending out the edge of the white and yellow together so I can have a very nice gradient. Kind of reminds me a little bit of candy corn, but I like it. So I'm just gonna clean up a little bit and remove the tape from my eyes before I move on with my eyeliner. And for eyeliner today, I'm using my NYX Matte Liquid Eyeliner. This is basically my favorite eyeliner right now. I just really love how black it is and I really, really like the long brush that is in this eyeliner because it just kind of helps if you have trouble creating a straight line, you can actually lay the brush down and it will give you a nice straight even line or at least make it easier to create a wing. Now for my face, I'm going in with a new primer today. This is from Revolution. It's the Pore Blur, Blur and Prime Primer. I like it. I like this stuff a lot. It kind of reminds me of the e.l.f. Um, Poreless Putty Primer. Not so much the Tatcha, but the e.l.f. one, it reminds me of that and I really like it. It felt nice going on and it created a very nice matte even base for me so I like it a lot for foundation I'm using my covergirl matte mattly made <laughs> foundation I always forget the name of this I'll have all the products listed in the description box below for you guys to check out but this is the covergirl and I like this foundation as well it's one of my go-to's nowadays and I love the coverage and the finish for my concealer, I'm using my Juvia's I Am Magic Concealer in the shade number 11. Another one of my favorites right now. The coverage is just crazy to me. It's so creamy, it blends out so nice, and just the coverage cannot be beat. Between this and my e.l.f. concealer right now, I'm just in love with the concealers that I'm using. So of course, when it went on sale, I definitely stocked up. Now to set this concealer in place, I'm using my Becca Hydra Mist Powder. And yeah, this is another one of my favorites right now. I'm trying to actually get through this so I can start using a different setting powder for my concealed areas because I've been using it for a while so I just want to try something else but yeah this is one I would definitely keep purchasing I love it I'm setting the rest of my face with my Too Faced multi-use complexion powder this is a pressed powder and not only do I like the way that it sets my face I also like 
just the color of it it's the same shade that i use in the liquid foundation which is spiced rum and it just adds a nice warm tone to my face for bronzer today i'm using my hula toasted another one of my favorites this should have just been a favorites face today <laughs> But I haven't done a shop my stash yet. I do want to record a shop my stash for you guys so I can kind of just shop through my makeup and pick out some different items to use for a couple of weeks because I have been using the same ones for quite a while. So I'm trying out this new minted blush today. This is in the shade Clay Too Much. I love that name, Clay Too Much, very cute. And this shade is very pretty. It's not anything too bold or out there, but you can definitely see a flush of color on my cheeks. Now this Becca and Chrissy Teigen palette, I've had for a while, my girl DJ sent it to me. It's gorgeous and I forgot that I had it because it's been on my shelf as decoration. But I said, you know what? I need to use this mug because it's super pretty. As you can see, that highlighter does not play. And I'm just kind of blending it out to tone it down. So I'm just showing you guys the kick up, but I really don't mind kick up in the pan as long as there's pigment. So it doesn't bother me at all. I don't mind it, but I would much rather have kick up and pigment than no kick up and no pigment. <laughs> so I'm just lining my eyes with my Milani black pencil eyeliner. Going back into the palette, choosing the shade Unruly which is the first shadow I started with that dark burgundy shade and smoking that out right below my lash line. So, so pigmented. I really like this color. It's a great fall color. Next, I'm going in with Sacred Fire, just taking that red right below that burgundy. Of course, I'm just trying to create the same gradient on my lower lash line as I have on my upper eyelid. Going into the yellow and using that just below the red. Same gradient, just in a smaller amount on my lower lash line. Very, very pretty. For mascara, I'm still using my Thrive Cosmetics. You guys, this Thrive Cosmetics is just lasting forever and ever. It just won't stop. And I'm kind of ready to use a new mascara, but I don't want to open another one until this one is done. So I'm trying to get through it, but I reached a point where I'm almost <laughs> ready to just use something else. But yeah, it's an excellent mascara though. So for lips, I know you guys are surprised. I'm using a different lip liner today. Ow, yay me. <laughs> this is one of my NYX lip liners. And this one is in the shade Deep Purple, which is kind of confusing to me because it looks more like a burgundy. But I guess in the right lighting, it might look like a plum or something. But yeah, to me, it looks like a really deep burgundy shade. And I'm using that to line my lips. But for my lipstick today, I'm using my LA Girl Matte Lipstick. This one is in the color Spicy. Yeah, it's spicy. <laughs> really nice, deep, kind of brown tone burgundy shade. I think it goes nice with this eye look. Very pretty. And I'm trying out a new setting spray today. This is a sample I received from Cover FX. They sent it when I ordered my little blush and highlighter duo, and I actually really like it. So we'll see how it holds. But this is the eye look today, you guys, for this Urban Bible palette. I like it. I really do. So far, I don't have any complaints. Of course, I need to try out the shimmers. So I will be doing another eye look just so I can get a feel for the shimmers in this palette. But just for this look, which is an all matte look that I love, I really like it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Please remember to hit like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Perfect. Toodles! Perfect.